You know, it's interesting here at Valley College. For some reason, some people, when I talk to them this week, some of my friends in the industry, like uh, Ben Maller from Fox Sports Radio and Jay Christian from The Wiz of Odds, uh, they were with uh, NBC Sports this week uh, doing some call ins today. And in fact, they said, Valley College, they have a football team. And I said, they have a football team, and they even have cheerleaders. If you look over here, we've got a nice little crew of cheerleaders. We're going to talk to some of the cheerleaders later. It's going to be pretty amazing. Who knows? We might get a phone number. You never know. I'm Julio Flores for Fox Sports. Back to you in the booth. Julio Flores from Fox Sports. We're here on the field with Chris Walker. Obviously, the Monarchs lost today, 28-26. to Disheartening loss, but it was a great uh, play that you had here in the game. Oh, it was a busted coverage, and I was left wide open. How convenient would that be? <laughs> Next week, you guys are taking on Santa Barbara. Any thoughts on, uh, have you seen any tape of those, that team? We haven't seen any tape on them, but we know that this was probably the best team in our conference. And winning this game probably would have won conference champions. So that's why it's a disappointing loss. You guys went ahead and had a great first half. Then all of a sudden we had, an, um, it seems like your special teams was having a tough time. We had a, a lot of plays uh, being given up, a lot of yardage being given up by the special teams. I don't know, just, probably just broken plays, just not executing. That's what we failed to do today. We just didn't execute. Appreciate uh, your time, Chris, and look, good luck on next week's game. All right. All right. I'm Julio Flores for Fox Sports. Uh, coach Fennick with us, with us here, uh, the coach for Valley College. And this heartening loss, uh, Coach, uh, not being able to get that conversion. We certainly had a great first half here, uh, great plays from Walker and your quarterback as well. What's your thoughts on the game? What, what, what are you going to learn from this? Well, we're a young team, and we've got a young quarterback and young people, and uh, we knew this game was going to be a pretty tough game. Uh, they've got a lot of speed, a lot of talent, and uh, we were felt fortunate to get it down to the wire where we have a chance to to at least tie it up, if not go ahead. So uh, a little disappointing in the second half execution, but uh, that's a sign of a young team. And I'm proud of the way the guys played. I'm pr pr proud of the way they battled. And we just, uh, like anything else, we just have to learn our lessons and uh, hopefully build on it and, and get better next week and hope that uh, now we're in the position where hopefully somebody else helps us and knocks off West LA. They, they did a good job. They certainly are a powerhouse. You guys certainly had a great first half. But the second half, we saw a lot of things going on, a lot of yardage given, given up. Do you think the guys were just tired? I wouldn't say it's tired. I think it's a sign of a, a little bit of a young team and, and battling, kind of sitting back and waiting for things to happen. But, uh, um, you know, who knows? I think, I think um, we didn't execute some things in the third quarter, and we p tried to play a field position game, and we kind of got lost on the one punt and uh, backed up. And r really, if we would have had some field position that third quarter, we were feeling like all we needed to do is get at least a field goal out of it. And we, we, just, we just didn't get it done in the third quarter. We just have to learn from it. Now, next week you're taking on Santa Barbara. What is uh, some of your take on that team? Well, they're very well coached. Uh, I think... Um, I, I don't know how their what their record is. I, I they're, I'm not sure what they did today, but uh, they're very well coached. Uh, I think talent-wise, we might be ahead of them, if not uh, equal. And um, a good sign of uh, tonight's game and the character and the heart of our team. We'll see how we respond next week. So we're looking forward to it. Coach Fenwick, we appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Well, a disheartening loss for the Valley College Monarchs, 28-26, to losing today. Didn't picking up that conversion and going to overtime. So looking forward to the match next week in Santa Barbara. And we have Christian... How are you? Julio Flores from Fox Sports. You know, it's uh, amazing work that you've done. I know this was a loss, but still, we've really been very impressed by your work the last two games. We know that you lost Dan Owen. That was disheartening down in San Diego. You picked up that game. It's actually been pretty well. I hear a lot of players talking about you. You're a wide receiver. Now, that's interesting that you're playing quarterback. How did that happen? Well, I just I played quarterback my high school year, my senior year in high school. So, Coach Fenwick you knew I could play quarterback, so he called me in and knew I could do the job so now in the last play of the game you tried to pick up that two-point conversion what was kind of going through your head did you see a hole when you ran through it there yeah I just uh, slipped nothing I could do about it now you're taking on Santa Barbara next week what are you some of your thoughts have you seen any film from that game yet I'm sure you'll see something during the week I haven't seen film yet we just gotta come come Monday ready to work get better
Now, Coach Fenwick obviously had you guys together after the game. Wanted you guys being kind of tight. What kind of stuff did he say to kind of encourage you guys? Just stay together. You know, we got to. We're a good team, and it's just gonna uh, see next week how our character is and how we come together. Appreciate you coming on the show tonight. I'm Julio Flores for Fox Sports. Well, that wraps it up for the broadcast team up in the booth. We uh, thank you for joining us from Monarch Stadium here in Valley Glen, California, where the Valley Monarchs lose tonight to the West Los Angeles Wildcats, 28-26. to Hey, I'm Julio Flores for Fox Sports, and obviously we're here at Monarch Stadium here in Valley Glen, California, and the Fox Sports song is playing. I'd had to come on and talk about this. And so the Valley College Monarchs are leading right now, 20 to 14. It's here halftime. We have a special guest right now. Hi. This is Miss Asia, USA, Yuka Sano. And it's amazing that we would be enjoying your presence here at Valley College. Tell me, what are, why, why did you come out to the game today? Oh, because I like sports, first of all. This is my first time. I'd like to enjoy, and I like the people's energy. So I, I'm really interested. These people are extremely energetic. Now, I love your story because we've only met in the last week or so, but I feel like we've known each other for years. And I love your story because you actually came from Japan, didn't speak a word of English, yeah. didn't have any friends or family here, and you decided this was going to be a great place to hang out. What makes a person go through that kind of decision? <laughs> Well, I, I'm like a survivor and a challenger. I'd like to challenge new things, and I love American culture, so I just came. It's like, it's not like, you know, I just, that's my dream, so I just follow it. What are your plans? What kind of stuff do you want to do here in America? I'd like to acting here, but also I'd like to make a TV in Japan. Maybe something like a introduce about America, something nice things or events on people or something like that because most of Japanese don't know about America. They know it's just a guidebook but they don't know what is America anyway. So I'd like to introduce Japanese people what is America is. So that's what I want to do. Hey, I'm Julio Flores for Fox Sports. I want to thank my crew, uh, Bobby Weiss and Rick, who's my cameraman right now. <laughs> and I got to laugh because there's this big grassy area and there's nothing but he was good enough to step on my program and step on my water bottle, almost slipped and fell, and still got the shot. So thanks a lot, Rick and Bobby, for helping me out here tonight at uh, Monarch Stadium, Valley College versus West Los Angeles. We got a few minutes left in the game, and back to you up in the booth.